Hi, welcome to Synchronize Lighting product videos. In this video, we will teach you how to set up and run your product. In this video, we have our six channel leaping arch. I'll show you roughly how to build it. You take the arch itself, get a tape measure and a roll of tape, measure the whole length Right, that's 63 inches. Take the 63 inches and divide it by six. 63 divided by six, 10.5 inches. So, you get tape. Mark them off at roughly 10.5. All right, now you should have six sections one, two, three, four, five, six where you can now start. Wrapping and rolling the lights onto it. So take the furthest point from it, from the one end, and start there first. Unwrap. Now, set of lights. Start at the bottom and then just wind it around. It's quite tight but not really really tight because obviously you don't want to break the wires.
I'm going to get to the last bulb on the string. Either go round just through the middle of the tape that you've put on, go round at least once, and then come back into the centre just so it's captured. And then get some cable ties. And then the centre of the piece of tape that you've marked, just cable tie it off so you know it's been captured properly. Try and keep it on the inside track because there's a dent in the which the cables will fit in nicely when you come round to the next one. Looks a bit scruffy, but then just literally. Maneuver it about, just sort the gather out so it's even all the way around, and then it's that's more or less it. Just wrap it up, sort the gathering out, and that's section one. We we'll cut all these tails off in a minute. A good point or a good tip uh, when you get to the end or when you get take a piece of light colour tape or just put a piece of tape around the edge like so and just write a number one on there when you then when you come to the end of the line you'll know that that's number one that set of lights then that'll be number two that'll be number three four five and six just makes it easier when you come to wiring it up which I'll explain later Right, with the second set, it's exactly the same as the first set. What I've done here though, on the first set, I've just put a little bit of tape just to capture the wire up to the second one. Then get to the, the start of it again. Get a cable tie and just make sure you capture the end. But to the end of the last of string set number one, put Make sure that the cable tie actually captures it and tie it off. So just make sure that it's actually nice and level with the string set number one. Pull it in nice and tight and cut the edges off. With a pair of scissors. And then start winding again as you did on number two, on number one. And the same again with number two, just make sure you capture it and cable tie it off. Just gather it, I sort of gather out again, space it out, make sure it looks nice and neat. And the same again with number and the same again with number one. A small piece of tape, tape it off. Number 
dicevo né? One, two. And then bring it on the inside track again. The cable tie. Uh, just tape two of them now together. Just spot them in. Just so they stay in place. Ready for number three. Start number three. And the process starts exactly the same. To four, to three, four, five and six. Right, now that you've got them all wound on nice and neat, just try and keep make sure that they're spread out quite evenly. Try not to have too many gaps in all of it. And, it sh and then cable tie all of these together. So they stay in one place 
Firstly, cable tie the sixth one off. Sure there. Down to the ground, or down to the base, and just cut the cable ties. All six cables together. Right, now that we've done them and got everything all nice and neatly on the arch, what we're going to do is do a quick test. This is where I said the numbers would come into. So over here I've just got a test rig, which is an 8 channel light controller, which I've got all of my tails numbered. So now we just find the corresponding numbers and connect them. And then when I turn the mains on, it should come up with a short program. This concludes our video. Thank you very much for watching. For any more information, please do not hesitate to contact one of our team.